So out of the 100 of you sitting here, or less, about 20 of you probably suffer from a mental illness. And that's okay to say. One in five American adults live with a mental illness. The world is facing a mental health crisis and we need to address it now. Depression, anxiety, chronic stress, these are all issues that hundreds of thousands and millions of people face across the country and the globe. One of the most effective forms of treatment for mental illness is therapy, and therapy is incredibly effective. Therapy changes lives, not just for people with severe mental illness, but every single human being. However, there are several barriers to accessing therapy. Half of Americans with mental health issues receive treatment, which means half of them completely go unnoticed. One of the biggest reasons is that there are only about 34 licensed psychologists per 100,000 Americans. What this means is for the 20,000 of these Americans who need a psychologist, there are only 34. And if you do the math, that is about 600 patients per one psychologist. Engineers, you can check my math. <laughs> the biggest barriers here are the shortage of therapists, but also the time it takes to meet with one. Therapists do this as a job, so they only work during business hours, but patients also have jobs. And some people can't afford to take time off of work to see a therapist. Even when people do find the time, they sometimes can't afford to actually see a therapist due to the high cost. Aside from these logistical issues, even when someone has the time, has found a therapist, and has the money, there is incredible stigma to seeing a therapist, there's discomfort to speaking to a stranger, and there's also the issue with compatibility. You want a therapist who understands your background and who just gets along with you. All of that being said, this is a very human issue and it seems like you can only find a very human solution. But let's switch gears. What do you think of when you hear artificial intelligence? Do you think of arbitrary numbers and letters, microchips, the Terminator franchise? You can laugh. <laughs> um, these are, you know, very technical, very scary, or very um, unhuman things you think of when you think of artificial intelligence. Sometimes, you know, if you understand artificial intelligence and algorithms and machine learning, you think of how social media and how marketing uses artificial intelligence for bad and uses it to convince you to buy things or convince you to stick on the internet. But can artificial intelligence be used for good? Could it be used for therapy? Artificial intelligence as therapy is incredibly excessive and inclusive. It addresses the shortage of therapists because if you can get an artificial intelligence therapist on your phone, you can access it at any time, anywhere, on any device. It also improves with the time issue. You could see your artificial intelligence therapist at 2 a.m. when you're having a crisis. You can't always call up your own therapist at 2 a.m. You can see them in the morning, you can see them as often as you want, and that also addresses the cost. It costs very little to nothing to download an app like that and to run a software on your phone, and so everyone should be able to access it. But what about the humanity aspect? Isn't it weird to be talking to a computer? Well, that's the thing about artificial intelligence, and that's my favorite part. AI learns from you. AI, just like when you're meeting with some, someone and speaking to them, all its information from you your thoughts, your behaviors, your actions, your repeated actions, your repeated concerns, and it learns the patterns and it's able to give you proper and personal advice. Now this sounds very fancy, it sounds very high tech, you might be thinking, okay, well, I see that maybe 100 years in the future, but it's actually happening right now. Companies today are using facial recognition technology to analyze your emotions, and properly assess how you're feeling. Other companies have developed chatbots that are able to understand what you're saying and provide clinically proven techniques and therapies. And there is way more to come. AI empowers humanity, empowers individuals, and empowers our society. And the reason I'm telling you all of this is, one, to open up your mind to 
speaking therapy, but also for you to think about what you can use AI to change, how you can use AI to change the world. AI is a tool for you to leverage. You don't have to be a computer scientist. I'm a psychology major. I never thought I would be able to look past humans for psychology um, techniques. But after learning about computer science, I've seen that there's so much more in this world and everybody has a place in it. And that's my talk. Thank you so much for listening.